What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to the first edition of Tips and Tricks Thursdays. Now, what Tips and Tricks Thursdays is, is that every Thursday, every week on Thursday, there will be a new tips and trick for Logic every Thursday. So keep coming back and checking on Thursday for new tips and trick in Logic every Thursday. Now, these videos are going to be very quick, as is this one, so let's get to it. The first one I'm going to show you is how to create very wicked, wicked, crazy synths in Logic with just a click of a button. Now, I've been using Logic for a while, and I didn't know about this feature until, I don't know, about a couple months back. But when I did hear about it, and ever since I heard about it, I've been using it all the time. And I'm sure some of you already know this, but um, it's a little secret in Logic that some people don't know. And, well, you're going to know right now how to make crazy synths. So let's get to it. All right, so the first step we got to do is open up your ES2 synth in Logic. So we'll go here to our input. Actually, if you didn't do this already, create a new software instrument track. We'll make one, and I'm going to go to an ES2 synth. Logic has it built in. And yeah, it's, I'm sure you guys used this synth before, but what you might have not realized and overlooked is that there's a randomizer button right here. Here's the big sur right here. It says random. Now what this does is that you can go to a preset, slide the slider to the percent that you want to change the preset. So 18% means that it's going to change that preset by 18% and it'll change it that way. Or if you want to go 100%, you'll change it 100% it'll go to a completely different sound all from a click of a button. You don't have to change any of these parameters. You don't have to know what a square sine wave or triangle wave sounds like. All you have to know is where the random button is and click it and you get a new synth just like that. Now, a lot of people already use the presets in Logic, so most people don't want to use them because the sound's already out and they want to create new ones. And this is a good way to create new presets in Logic. Now, what I do on days that I don't make music, I make presets. And I, all I do is come into ES2 and I want to make presets for ES2. And I go to a kind of sound that I want. So let's say I want a lead synth sound. And I go to here. And let's hear how that sounds. All right, so that's how it sounds. And let's say I like the way that sounds. I want that in my song, but it could be a little different. So what I would do is I would go to the random button. I'd slide it up to about 8 to 13%. Now, if you go to 50%, you're going to get a completely different sound. But if you go around 8 to 13%, you're going to get a similar tone and a similar sounding synth, if that's what you want. So I'm going to go start off with 9%, and I'm going to hit random. And as you can see, it changed the parameters. And now I'm going to play the synth, and you'll hear how it sounds. <laughs> Sounds different, right? Let's do it again. Hit, and you keep hitting random. That's the beauty of it. Hit it again. You don't like the synth? Okay. Let's try a new one. All right. Now, like it. Let's try it again. Uh, no, let's do it again. All right. So as you can see, by hitting random, you get crazy synths right away instantly without having to change any parameters. Now, what I usually do is that if I get it to a sound that I usually like, then I will start to go in and tweak a little bit. But um, sometimes you hit random and it's the sound that you've been looking for and that you want. And sometimes you do get lucky. So let's try moving this all the way up to 50%. What do I'm at here? 66. Okay. Let's go to 60% and see how much that changes it. Hit random. Now let's hear how it sounds. As you can see, it's very different sound. And that's it. Well, now you have a secret that you can use. Maybe don't tell everybody, but uh, this little button here, the random, is going to save you a lot of time and help you create new music and get you inspired again to create new music because now instead of going to your presets and tweaking them yourself, now you can just hit the random button and you get crazy sounds just like that without having to spend time tweaking the sounds. Mostly everyone just starts from a preset and tweaks it to their liking. This way, it can give you a completely new sound without tweaking any settings at all. Within seconds, you can get a new sound. Go enjoy it. Make some new music. Let me know how it turns out for you. I'm Adam from My Music Mogul. Remember to subscribe, comment, rate my videos, and remember next week, another edition of Tips and Tricks Thursday. So come back, check it out. I'll talk to you then, guys. Later. Thank you.